We're pleased to bring you the fifth episode in the History of Smyrna series. Today, we're right here in Jefferson Springs Recreation Area. The town of Jefferson was established in 1803 as part of the newly created Rutherford County. This community was the county seat before Murfreesboro was incorporated. The stories you hear today are part of the fabric of our community, weaving together the past and the present. This is our town and our history. We invite you to enjoy the history of Smyrna. I'm Coon Victory, and I, I was born and raised right around and lived in Smyrna my entire life. I'm Patsy Brown. I was born and raised in Wilson County, but I've been here since 1960. I'm Marion Appleton. I was born at Hilltop. I've been here all my life. I'm Jerry Short. I uh, live here in Smyrna all my life in, in the Jefferson area. I'm Toby Francis. I've been, uh, I was born here, but uh, dear, after the time I entered college, I was gone from this area about 12 years. I went, I was out west and uh, uh, worked at Boring Aircraft from 50, starting in 57 to 60. Came back, finished college, and then I went out west and taught. Uh, but the rest of the time I've enjoyed being here, and uh, finally after I taught 37 and a half years, uh, I had time to visit Old Jefferson and start recording some history. But that didn't happen until like 2003. I'm Paul Johns. I've lived in this area all my life. I retired from the city of Smyrna with 50 years of service. I lived at Old Jefferson all my life and tomorrow all my life. Today we're going to talk about Old Jefferson and Jefferson Springs, which is a little area right outside of Smyrna. And uh, Toby and, and Jerry and Paul and I were raised in that area, so that's the reason we asked these people to come and help us tell us about what Old Jefferson was about. So Toby, I'm going to start with you, and if you would give us a little history about where Old Jefferson was, when it was incorporated, and, and, and whatever you want to talk about, about Old Jefferson. Uh, I brought along, uh, sometimes I, I talk with people and they, um, um, they give a little history and they confuse the two places, uh, uh, Old Jefferson and Jefferson Springs, Sulphur Springs we called it. Uh, the history of Jefferson itself, uh, actually uh, the, the first written documents were written in 1803 uh, and uh, that was uh, the, state, the state of Tennessee was founded in 1796 and then uh, the various counties around Davidson County were, uh, were developed early and, and, and then uh, in 1803, they had the first document that they expressed uh, for Rutherford County. And at that time, uh, Jefferson was chosen uh, as the county seat. Now this particular map that I've got right here, uh, this one was found uh, down in Texas somewhere. So this information is written like this. When, um, uh, when Judy Garland wrote her book here, uh, uh, say about this area and about the county, uh, she had this map, but, uh, but, uh, but, but to, to actually be accurate for the town of Old Jefferson, uh, north, is at the, uh, north is at the top of the map right here. Uh, this was the town that was actually laid out uh, by Weekly and Bedford. And they, um, they first uh, laid out a certain number of counties, uh, I mean uh, 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 city blocks, and they sold them for $29 a, a block. Ultimately, there was 162 of these, starting with the top of Old Jefferson where the, where the, uh, where the central part of the government was. Now this is north here. Um, uh, none of this is actually visible today. Now the, uh, when, the, uh, when the first documents were made to lay out for the for the uh, Percy Priest Dam, uh, Percy Priest Dam. Um, they took uh, they took a lesson that they had learned from the old Hickory Dam, which was the decade before, and they 
they really didn't buy the uh, say the Corps of Engineers uh, really did not buy enough property, and and after the after the old Hickory Dam was, was the water was starting to rise, then they they were out uh, buying uh, buying more land because they didn't they didn't buy enough. So with the building of uh, Percy Priest, uh, they wanted to rectify that uh, from the very beginning. So they had the high water marks and so on, and then. Uh, uh, after that, they bought land going extended level uh, back 300 feet. So, so most of those errors that were made during the, during the old Hickory Dam were actually corrected. Um, so that tells you a, a little bit about the, uh, the starting of Old Jefferson. Um, as far as, uh, I did want to point out that uh, uh, Sulphur Springs that we know also today as, as uh, Jefferson Springs, these, these came along roughly about 100 years apart. In other words, somewhere around the end of the 1800s, uh, the, uh, the sulfur water there uh, at, the, at the old town, of Je uh, the, the town that we knew as, as Sulfur Springs or, or Jefferson Springs that had the sulfur water, people began to uh, come there, uh, uh, drink the sulfur water, it was free, uh, and various kind of recreational stuff. Now, in these books that were actually printed by the uh, by the Historical Society, there's one book on uh, on the Stones River, and that's uh, that's one here. It's, it's about uh, somewhere around 40 pages. Uh, a very interesting story about the development, how the river, how the Stones River played such a vital role, say, in our life. And then the other one that I I like particularly, uh, say for this area here, is the one on Old Jefferson. And then the one for Jefferson Springs, which are which are totally different places. So sometimes we uh, we do confuse those things uh, things and uh, and uh, so uh, uh, part of our purpose here today was trying to uh, set that straight that they were two different places, totally different, and they were only about a mile and a quarter apart. If you you could float down from 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 Old Jefferson downstream. Now these two streams of water. The one on the right here coming out of east, this is the, this is the east fork, starts up uh, kind of northeast of uh, Woodbury, comes in on the east side through, uh, through the east part of the county. Uh, this over here, this is the west fork, starts in the southern part of Rutherford County, comes around the back and comes, uh, comes in, and, and they met right there. So this was actually the center of the town here. This was the high point of the hill. Um, so for all those years, those early part of the years, uh, we kept talking about even, uh, I've, I've read lines today that, that old Jefferson would be flooded. Well, it, it never, uh, the town, it's, the area itself. Now we did have the 2010 massive flood. And so any big flood, uh, and I can remember, uh, I remember the one time I was spending the night over your place, uh, we were going to uh, a tournament game in Murfreesboro, Coon, and so, uh, so it, uh, while I was there that day, the river rose. We were supposed to play that night, and we couldn't get out. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, the old town was uh, was surrounded. And if uh, if there was rain in, the, you know, from the East Fork and then the West Fork too, uh, you would be surrounded. And so, uh, so we missed uh, we missed the tournament game. <laughs> but but those things did happen, and and uh, and that's part of that part of the history of why, it's, why it was there to start with and why it moved to Murfreesboro. You uh, mentioned those where those two bodies of water come together back there, the East and West Fork. That's where we lived, was right top of that hill. And I've swam a many a time right where those two forks come together there in the water. It wasn't very deep, probably 10 or 12 feet deep at the very, at the very deepest part. And, uh, but we had a lot, of, a lot of fun right there when we lived there. Let me t uh, let me show you something that you missed, Coom. Okay. Uh, this little this little item there. After uh, when uh, when the town of Jefferson built, it was it was actually a steamboat town. It, it, it was where they uh, they hauled a lot of different products down uh, downstream, and it started early. And so um, so Main Street was actually ran from the center of town uh, almost straight north, and it went uh, went right down to the river. And so um, and then they would uh, put all these things together. They, uh, they actually floated a lot of lumber downstream. But the idea of a, of a small stream, uh, I have read, I've read histories of old Jefferson where they talk about flatboats going up and downstream. 
Well, that probably going upstream at Old Jefferson at a narrow stream, it probably didn't happen. It was it was all downhill. For, uh, you want to stay, and it was dangerous enough as it was. So they would they would build the flatboats, have all those ready, and um, by fall when they began to gather crops, uh, both from the forest and also from land, uh, float them downstream, and go all even all the way down to down to Mississippi, New Orleans and stuff, and then they would use the logs down there for very, very purple, and then walk back. So that was, uh, uh, that was the idea, so, so, uh, so that was, uh, so that's, uh, that, uh, uh, that's how uh, Jefferson developed his, uh, but anyway, this right here, uh, right, down, uh, right down close to the water, like the water is today, when the, uh, when the lake is up, uh, uh, then it's a constant movement uh, movement of water in and out. So I went down. The, I went down the ramp to the north. Went down to where the water is today, and uh, and the water was down a little bit. And I looked back under under the bank where it had sort of washed it out that way. And I saw something. I saw something lying back, back in that uh, carved out place where the water had gone now for all these all years since uh, since uh, since the late sixties. And so, and I, I pulled this little object out here. I, I knew it had something, to, I felt like it had something to do with a harness. Have any idea what it is? No. Now you could use this for your horse and buggy and put them up with a, th a thing where, where the reins going from you as you're sitting back on the buggy would go through these two. Now these are kind of turned a little bit, would go over here. Now here's a little thing that's coming back up this way. Now I asked uh, um, I asked uh, Gene Donald Jordan what the name of this what this little thing was, and I forgot I forgot the name of this thing. But it's used on the top of the harness, right at the uh, at, at the withers of the shoulders of, of the uh, of the horse, and you can uh, you can guide you have a line going to to the bit on each side, and, and it would run through this that little object. So Is that metal? That Is that I guess that's metal. Yeah, it's solid metal, and I'm losing some rust every time I move it. Bang, <laughs> some, some rust falls off. Uh, it's uh, been around for a while. Toby, what year did the lake, did the Percy Priest come in, and we had to move out? Uh, between the years '63 uh, and '68. Now they they had the first dedication in '63, uh, and there was a lot uh, a, a lot to do just uh, just to begin with. By the end of '67. Now I was out west during this whole time. Uh, I, went, I went to Nevada uh, in '62, and I came back in '68. So by the time I got back here, the whole uh, uh, things had, had all changed. So my folks uh, during the middle of that time, about '65, they went out and went to, back to Milton, where my father was actually born, right on the hill, just as you're going over Cannon County to the right, and, and they bought a hundred-acre farm there. So they came out okay, and then. Uh, and then uh, uh, there was there were some people who held out. My father had already been quite sick, and and so he he wanted just to make a quick sale, so they did. And so uh, so uh, um, you had um, you had other people who stayed to the bitter end, just like Mrs. Winrow, who lived uh, in, in the area where I grew up and where I was born. Uh, I've got pictures here of land grants. And the land grant that I was I was born on started out at Jefferson Pike, out close to where Ernie uh, and, and and where the where the Stones River is. And uh, as you as you look down from the bridge, you go uh, look uh, looking uh, looking north. Uh, you see the water pumping station on the left, and the river bends off to the right. Make sure I'll, I'll, I'll show you another map of that. Just I'll, I'll just I'll just show you from this one right here. Um, this right this is Old Jefferson right here. Okay, um, this is uh, this is the river going downstream like this, and goes on down, uh, on down. Here's here's where the road is now. The old the old road going through Jefferson went here, across West Fork right here, went through the town of Old Jefferson, and on and and the other bridge over over at the East Fork Recreation, and so on to Walter Hill. And th they call this road here the Old Georgia Road here, and so uh, so this is the road, the rerouted road, like it like it goes today. And then looking downstream, uh, the river bends out out to the to the east, makes a big loop, 
and in old deeds they called it the uh, the Big Bend country. And so it goes back and turns to the north, and that marks the the northern side of that land grant. It was 1,828 acres, went all the way down to the Big Bluff, and that uh, that 145 acres, that's where I was born on the north end of that. And then as as it turns to go toward uh, Fate Sanders Bridge, there's, there's that Big Bluff there, and then it turns and goes back and comes like in the area like uh, Weekly Lane, goes back out to Jefferson Pike, and then uh, and that was the uh, that was the uh, that was the land grant that took in that uh, that area right there. Yeah, Miss Thelma, you had a question. When you talk about a town, old Jefferson had a when you, town with that stores and all that. They had uh, they had a different number of stores. Most of us in our lifetime, we just remember uh, Paul. Uh, you know the uh, you know the store at Old Jefferson. I've got a, a picture of the Eads Eads store. Uh, Mr. Sam Hall owned the store for for a long time, uh, and so. Uh, it, uh, but through the years, if you study the if you study the early history, there were different stores, different places, and and different places to stay, rooming places, and it, it just evolved in different ways. Yeah, but Miss Thelma, we had a store there the, the whole time that we lived there, and and also we had a church there, and we probably had uh, probably fifteen or twenty different home places there right at Old Jefferson and uh, of course Old Jefferson was a main drag between uh, Smyrna and Walter Hill. Oh, That's where we went through there then. But now I, I think we probably moved out about uh, 65, 66 in there somewhere like that. I remember I was in college and, and mom and daddy moved to Smyrna. When did your parents move out? You call Paul? 66, 67, yeah. Is that right, about uh, when they lived yeah. out? Then Jerry, when did, when did y'all have to move out? Um, my grandparents, which on this, on the map here, my grandfather owned about 110 acres. If you look at the river, the river kind of makes a horseshoe, and he owned from one side of the horseshoe to the other side yeah. of the horseshoe. And it was just down actually from your place, right. your, your parents' place. and. Uh, they had to move first uh, from over there, and that was in 67. And then mom and dad, which they also, Toby talked about taking an extra 300 feet uh, of property. So that got half of dad's property when they did that. And so we moved, of course, we stayed on the same farm. We just moved from the back side of the farm, which became the front side of the farm when the new road came. And that was in 67 as, as well. 67. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, uh, Toby mentioned Jefferson Springs. Now, Jefferson Springs uh, was close to where Paul's area was, oh, Jefferson Springs, Lamar area. So, Paul, if you, would you mind telling us about Jefferson Springs and Lamar area? When you left uh, old Jefferson and went to Jefferson Springs, before you went across the bridge across Stone River, there was a hotel, and that was the Anderson Hotel and that was an Anderson farm. He had probably a 200 acre farm there. Uh, and when you went across the bridge, uh, it, was a, it was a large bridge. It was probably 200, 250 foot long, and it had a big concrete uh, iron, two pillars in the middle of the Stones River holding the bridge up. And it also had something that most bridges didn't have. It had a sidewalk on the right hand yeah. side that uh, you could walk from the hotel over to the store and over to the dance hall and over to the park. And when you went across the bridge, the store was on the left-hand side of Banks of Stone River, and the dance hall was on the right-hand side of Stone River, and the park was straight in front of you on Stone River. And let me tell you a little something about the dance hall that uh, I, I, I can't let go because I remember it. And that's where my mother and daddy met, was at the dance hall at Old Jefferson. And uh, in, in 1929, uh, she lived in, uh, in Brentwood, not Brentwood, but uh, Woodbine in Nashville. And her mother and daddy had some friends in, uh, in Smyrna on uh, Sam Davis Highway, where Hager Street runs into Sam Davis Highway. And uh, they come out one Saturday to uh, visit them. And uh, they went over to the dance hall at the Old Jefferson that Saturday night. And that's where dad and mother met in 1929, and then in 1931, they got married. So uh, that's, that's why it's real close to me uh, there. And then <clears throat> at the store, the store was something real unusual. It had a dance hall, not a dance hall, but it had a bowling alley, it had a pool hall, 
It had a, a, a restaurant that served sandwiches, and it also sold groceries. It also had living quarters upstairs that whoever whoever lived, uh, whoever run the store could live upstairs. And the last people I remember running the store was uh, Ruth uh, and Robert Ryan. Uh, and they had a daughter named Frances Ryan, and we went to school with her. And uh, it, something happened to her back a few years ago on uh, I-24. She got killed in a car crash. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are the things that we remember, and these are the things that happened. And the thing that I remember about the park is the... Um, Lane Cedar Chess Company used to have their picnics at the park. And they did something that, that most people wouldn't realize and most people uh, didn't see. And they would take a, a big pile of, uh, of uh, sawdust. sawdust and they would put $50 worth of change in that sawdust pile and line the children up and let the children go in there and pick that change out of that sawdust pile. And then the one that, that, that got the most change would get a bonus. Mm -hmm. And that happened there. And... Uh, Coon and their folks lived next to the park mm -hmm. uh, in a house there, next, but, but beside the store. And uh, there was 43 cottages up and down uh, the banks of uh, Stones River uh, that, uh, that people come out from Nashville. And uh, just, you, you just think about coming from Nashville in a, in a, in a buggy and a horse mm -hmm. to, to spend it at, at uh, uh, Jefferson. And they did. They did. And Sam Hall that run the store at, at Old Jefferson lived down behind the store, at, at, uh, uh, the, the, the road went down, and the, the gate that going into his property stopped the road, and that's where he lived. And he had a wife that had an unusual name, Leechy Lou. Yeah. Leechy Lou. And here's a picture of them right here. Yeah. This is in the, one of their Nashville stores. Uh -huh. It's Sam Hall and Leechy. He was a, they ran the store at uh, Old Jefferson there, right across the street from where we live. Uh, uh, but she was, she was, uh, Miss Hall had passed away and she married Claude Wright. Right. And she was uh, Leachy Wright then. And, but Miss Sam Hall was, was uh, today would be a billionaire, I guess, because he was loaded, loaded with money back during that, that time. But they ran that store. And then you mentioned the store at Jefferson Springs. I remember the Hayes family ran it uh, before yeah. before they did. But he mentioned those cabins there and those people would come from Nashville, the attorneys and your doctors, your wealthy people would come there for the weekend yeah. because they had that dance hall there. And I assume that's the way that his parents met because the people in Smyrna that they came to visit knew about that place. And so I guess your dad lived over there close to where the farm place was uh -huh. and, and they just came there and, and, and met. Now did they did they swim? Was there a swimming area over there as well? I, there was, wasn't yes. it? Now, because what I remember, I thought that it set up kind of on a bluff, so they would have to get. That, that, I'm not sure how they got down there, but now on but the it, north uh, side it was a bluff. Okay, a, a right there where the store and everything was. Okay. Now you could come in from the from the south side, and that was it. And, and that's where the big slides and everything. Okay. Right. You came okay. across the bridge and okay. walked. That's where that walking bridge that okay. Paul was talking about okay. walked across. You could park cars down there. But they had a big uh, rock right right in the middle where where you could. Uh, and I, I remember one Sunday afternoon, y'all's close friends was swimming over there, and he and he, and he drowned. And uh, uh, sure did that was a. Uh, and then it was another young guy. He was swimming. He was fishing on the bank, the Bowant Bank, and he was about eight or ten years old. And he fell in there, and so that was two of the people that I knew that passed away. Winfred Young also. Winfred was the one that I was talking about. Your friends there yeah. that, that passed away. He hit away a rock or something. They yeah. I wasn't with them on that day, but they were there, and he and he dived in, and he and he didn't survive. Yeah. Here's some uh, here's some scenes uh, from from Jefferson Spring. This is the bridge. As you turn off uh, as you turn off Jefferson Pike, you would. Uh, you would inch around the edge of the river. The bridge, I think, was finally finished in 1914, I think. It took a long time to build this bridge, but it was a... Started in 1905 and was completed in 1913 because of the finances, not because of doing the work, but because of financing the bridge. Uh-huh. Now, on the other side right over here was the, was the store, you and the dance hall was right there. I, 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 in the, when I was in high school, uh, we'd go to dances and there and down Lamar and, and, and different places. So that was, a, that was the bridge going, going across the river. And here's, a, uh, here's another 
uh, you can just kind of hold some of these up here. Now, here is the, here's the fountain right there. Uh, um, this is called the gum, where you would uh, take the sulfur water, the black sulfur water, and pump it out. And uh, on the back, you've got the store there. There's Uncle Wilson and, and Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy Francis took a lot of pictures uh, while I was out west. Um, here's, uh, here's some of the houses. The one right there in the, at the top, that's called the, I think that's called the Triangle House because it was on a triangular lot. Or, you know, or, and so. Called oh, V-shape. Huh? Yeah. That's yeah. What they call it. It's kind of a yeah. V-shape. Yeah. And here's, a, here's another view of people gathered. All these are old Jefferson. Now here are some of the, here's some of the cabins. Now these are more on around, on around the, the river toward Fall Creek and Spring Creek on the back. Now that was right there on the, on the, on the bank that went, uh, went east from where you crossed the bridge at Old Jefferson Springs. You turn right and, uh, and you find these various cabins and things. Now this was, uh, this is Mr. Johnny Ackerson's house there. Uh, down at the bottom, that's Mr. Mr. Uh, Albert Ackerson, his house. Now here's a, Here's a very rare picture right here. Uh, they're not, I've never seen two. This is a picture here of Fall Creek where my finger is at the bottom. I think that's the only picture I've got. I think I got this one from that's Tommy Russell. That's where Paul was, was born yeah. and raised and grew up. Yeah. Uh -huh. And, uh, and here's, the, here's the Fall Creek Bridge. Um, so you mentioned that bridge there at Jefferson Springs. Here's your house right there, Paul, at the top where my finger is. Uh, uh, the one at the, uh, uh, that whole thing there, and there's some pictures on the back. Is part of that bridge at, old, at Jefferson Springs still there or not? Did no. they tear it all down? It was dynamited. A dynamite, okay. Yeah. The only thing, I was there just, uh, just recently. Uh, there's, a, there's a concrete column uh, uh, there on the bank, bank on the north side. Yeah. And here are different, just different pictures. Now, Paul, uh, we mentioned we're talking about bridges. Uh, Paul, where you where you lived there, it was a, the Fall Creek Bridge was there, and and uh, tell us about that incident that day. That guy was driving that truck. Mr. Todd, uh, he was driving a, a dump truck load of gravel, and the bridge had a, a slope coming up to it to get on it to go across. Yeah. And when he got on that slope, it fell in, and it didn't hurt him. But I don't know why. But it, but but he he come out he come out good. But uh, that that's something that happened. Yeah, sure did. Yeah. I think he just had to get a new. <laughs> that's right. Bridges. And that's where Fall Creek Boat Dock is today. Is where that bridge was. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, sure was. And and, and let me tell you something about Sam Hall. He was one of the first people in 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 Jefferson to buy a car that didn't have a gear shift. Mm -hmm. it, it was uh, automatic transmission. And uh, everybody wanted to ride in that car because they never rode in one that had uh, uh, automatic transmission. Yeah. And also something else about Sam Hall that people didn't realize, he always had money on him. Oh, well, yeah. He would always have anywhere from 10 to 20 $100 bills in his pocket at all time. And this was back in the 40s, and people just didn't have a $100 bill back in the 40s. But he did, and I don't know where he got his money and how he made it, but he did it, and he had a lot of money. He sure did. But that was Sam Hall, the Sam Hall that I knew yeah. at, at Old Jefferson, yeah. And a good guy. And a good guy. Yeah. Now, we, we mentioned those two bridges. We had one down there next to your grandparents, uh, Jerry, that uh, usually on Saturday night, the ambulance and the police would have to come out there because someone would always have a wreck right on that curve. Right? There, there, it seemed like there was always uh, either that or when it would rain, yeah. it would, the water would get over right there and you couldn't cross the bridge. Right. And I remember them little old black pots that they would put out that had yeah. the fire in it. And uh, uh, yeah. so we couldn't get over to mom and dad or grandma and, and granddad's place because the, the water was over the road. Yeah. Yeah. But Mr. Anderson, was a man that owned uh, Old Jefferson Springs, and he was a small man. He wasn't a big man. He was a, he was a real small man, and he walked with a walking cane all the time. Yeah, and uh, that but that I remembered him real well. Yeah. yeah. Now, when the when the lake closed, uh, when the lake caused people to move, my parents moved right here on Enon Springs Road, right down from where we are today. Paul, where where did your parents go? Went in, in Smyrna. 
They came to Smyrna. Uh -huh, yeah. yeah. Of course, you were already married at the right, time. Uh -huh. Yeah. Toby, where did your you said your parents went to Milton? Yeah, they uh, they um, went to Milton early, uh, early by you know by the mid '60s, uh -huh. and they uh, they found the place. Uh, 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 Ruth Dunn just died recently. She was our closest neighbor. Uh, I say the Dunn family, and they bought the place when you're going from Milton over the hill east over into Cannon County. Uh, she bought the place on, the, and my folks had looked at that farm, and so uh, so so Ruth's family bought that. And then the other one, when you're going to Milton, uh, and uh, and you're like you, if you're turning south, go, uh, going in the direction of Murfreesboro. There was, uh, the first farm there on the left, it was 100, and, uh, it was 100 acres. My folks bought that yeah. farm just right outside of Milton on, as you're going out toward uh, Prosperity. So they... Uh, what so do windrows do? But, but my father only lived a, a year, and so by the time I came back here, uh, he had already passed away, so... Yes. Where did the windrows go, do you recall? Uh, they go to Nashville? Now, Mr. Winrow had already died. Uh, yeah, um, their daughter Mary lived in Nashville, and I think Ms. Winrow. I think that's and right. She stayed to the bitter end. Yeah, I, I was telling somebody just a few minutes ago about uh, how she didn't uh, she didn't take the first bids uh, on the on the uh, on the on the offer uh, made by the government, but she uh, she stayed down there by herself on that hill. It was on the hill opposite. Opposite where we live, which 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 right now it's an island, so she had a nice big a big farm. But you were you were kind of, uh, you know, you've got a now you've got a summer pool, and and we're at summer pool right now for the lake, and and then a winter pool, which uh, which the which the uh, water goes down, and uh, so that's kind of the way it was that she would she'd be trapped over there on that, island. but she didn't even have a well. But they said that she, they had a, they had an underground cistern, and so Ruth Dunn told me that they used the water out of that, out of that cistern and boiled it, and uh, you know, and they, uh, they drank that water. Where we're talking about where, where Toby's family was was where out the road. I can't recall the name of the road, but where the sewer, where the water plant is today. Sharp Springs. Uh, uh, what's the name of the road? Sharp. You mean the Sharp, Sharp Springs? Spring. Sharp Springs Road at the tail end of that's where it is, and of course. Uh, Roger Lee, I guess, is, is he, Roger Lee in the last house there where the Palmers were? Yeah, the Palmers on the right, after you go over that first hill, the, he lives to the right, when you go past the water pumping station, uh, where, where the Palmers had to move to when the, the dam came. And that'd be close to where Jerry lives today, but now Jerry, don't we have a, a, a the walking trail goes in there somewhere? The walking trail comes in behind there and ends up over Jefferson Springs. Yeah. Uh, it goes in behind, kind of behind Roger Lee and, and, and that area there. Yeah. Uh, to, but I was going to show you this. I, I stole it from Toby over here. This is a picture of my grandfather's yeah. house here. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had, I think there was eight buildings on that property. I think it's what it was. And this, this house set up on top of a hill. You guys probably remember it set up on top yeah. of a hill. This was his old, I remember this truck as a kid. And he would forget to put it in, in, uh, in gear, okay? And it would roll down that hill, end up down in a, uh, a sinkhole down there and hit a tree. And I'm not, I was trying to see if this was the one before it hit that tree or not, because it, it, it was all messed up right here on this side. But, but um, they, they told a story one time that uh, he, had a, he had a pet turkey, and uh, the turkey would get in front of that truck. And, and wouldn't let him leave. And he'd have to, he'd, he'd have to back up and go around that turkey. <laughs> and it come time for Thanksgiving. <laughs> and the turkey didn't make it. <laughs> and they said it liked to kill him, had to kill that turkey, but it, but it didn't he make didn't it. He didn't have no trouble backing up then, did he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. But uh, I believe if, if I, mom and dad told me correct, he had 110 acres on that property. He had eight buildings. And when the lake came, I think he got $110,000 for everything. It, now here's some of the early yeah. families. The Keeble yeah. family occupied, uh, the, and they actually built that house. And it was there when the lake came. It was, uh, it, it was a log house that was uh, covered with shiplap type. And it was, and that's uh, uh, that's the uh, picture of it right there. 
So the Kibo family, and there was also a, 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 there was a big cemetery. If you go just right upstream of the river uh, on the bank of that uh, back of the house, but going uh, back up, there was a there was a large cemetery. Really? Right, yeah. Didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Miss Thelma, if you don't mind, turn that picture around there, where the yeah the house the houses back then were a lot of them were like that. My parents lived had a house like that in Old Jefferson. Uh, Jerry's grandparents had one like that. Paul's parents had one like that uh, over there at Lamar, and and it's something similar to what today is the Sam Davis home uh, like that. But now why they built them like that? Maybe the families were big. I don't know, but th- they were a lot larger homes than what some of them are, are built today. We mentioned those stores. You mentioned the ones there at, uh, at Jefferson Springs, and we mentioned the one at Jefferson. Jerry's grandparents ran a store. Uh, and where was that store, Jerry? It was on around coming closer to the school yeah. down in that area, closer to Roy King's grocery yeah. store down there. I remember um, the store. I, I yeah, remember going go there when yeah. I was a kid. Uh, Peyton, Peyton Smith That's store. Right. Okay, and then right down the road between, I believe between your grandparents and Roy's store and the bridge, it was another little store there. Uh, Mr. Randolph's uh, service okay. station. There it was. So now yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Now in our yard back home, uh, we used to, uh, we used to uh, have, the, have it worn down to the ground. And so we would, um, my little sister, she was five years younger, and she ran, uh, uh, she ran, uh, Randolph service station and as we were going around with our our toy vehicles that we had had there in the yard uh, Sarah White would give us a I would gas up our from <laughs> We called it Randolph's Randolph store But uh, you talk about these stores I can recall going to those stores and, and They'd always have you mentioned Lane Cedar Mill ago. They'd always have these little cedar chests in there with either uh, that uh, uh, what you call that stick of candy, that long red and white, uh, not licorice, but peppermint. red peppermint. peppermint candy stick in there. And it was, you could take chances on it. Maybe like 24 chances in there. Could be from penny to 29 cents or something like that. And you take a chance to try to see if you could win that cedar chest and that, those, those kind of days. And you could mm-hmm. walk in there and get a piece of bologna at these, these stores and, 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 and get you a sandwich and those kind of things. And, there was a lot of stores that you just sat around and the community would come together to uh, talk and see what was going on in the neighborhood. Yeah. Then also, we all got to comment here, Jefferson School. We started out, what year was Jefferson School started? Let me you know, show you this one while, okay. I, while I get out my info. Hold it right there. Uh, uh, that's, uh, that's Coons, Coons House when they started tearing it down. Jefferson. They at, at Old Jefferson, and uh, uh, the house originally faced east toward toward Main Street. Now that would be over on this side, and so that's that's where you'd go down to the ramp, you know, where you'd haul the stuff down, to, uh, put it on the uh, put it on the flatboats. And then later on, of course, after flatboating uh, became less of a, a convenience, uh, then they uh, they put the porch on the on the on the Jefferson's uh, toward Jefferson store. Uh, toward the highway, so that's where, where Coon lived. Uh, Part you, of that piece, uh, Toby, the, uh, the what was the jail back during when the the, the house that that Toby's referring to, our parents' house, was the capital uh, for the state of Tennessee at, at one time before they moved it to Murfreesboro, uh, to where Cannonsburg is today. I don't know what year that was. Uh, Toby. That probably, was about ten years later. That it. it uh, uh, in other, other words, Jefferson uh, stayed there, and, and then they started talking. The thing about about the town of Old Jefferson was, uh, you had water on three sides. Yes. You uh, you had a high place where the where the center of town was, uh, so uh, so you had the, had the East Fork coming in that that would flood in the West. Uh, if the West Fork could come around the southern side, and then on on the on the fourth side you had that rocky grave uh, like you going up to. Buckeye Bottom Road area, so uh, so if you had any kind of a rainy spell and and making it uh, making it to Old Jefferson wasn't always the easiest thing to do. Usually during the spring, the the rains would come up and and, and we would probably get stranded for about a day, uh, and then the water would go down about as fast as it come up. 
But, but I remember many a time, you mentioned that you spent the night there one night wanting to go to the basketball tournament, but, but the water got up. That would happen at least once a year uh, sometime, and we'd be stranded for, for a little while, but then we'd come back. I remember I'd go down there, and the water would come up, and I'd get rocks to put at the edge to see how far, how quick it was rising and all that kind of stuff. So, But then we mentioned Jefferson School, which is a picture of it right here. Toby, you recall when the when the first class uh, the was original uh, uh, there was um, there were several schools that were actually operated uh, in the Jefferson area both at um, um, on the east uh, on the east side and, uh, and the west side where the Keeble family was and then uh, 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 so over on the east side and then uh, there was uh, there was a school that was run uh, 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 like most of these would be private schools and there was one. Uh, there was a school operated uh, just across the road from from Mom Mullins' store. Yeah. And so, uh, if you did have a flood or something like that, it, it would be inconvenient from the people. Of, I mean, from Sulphur Springs, uh, Old Jefferson, us down down Charles Payne Road. So they uh, so they had uh, they built. I'll, I'll I'll show you a picture of the first school in eighty nine, um, eighteen eighty nine. Uh, they had the first school that was built uh, over on over on next to uh, the Frank Johns property. It, it was on the same side of the road, so that was built in '89, and uh, and it was actually uh, started as a one-room school, and then they added on to it. Uh, it uh, it burned in in 1920, and then they built the brick school that we went to, the one that you just showed right there. Okay. Uh... Paul, you and Toby are a little older than, than I and me and Jerry when we were students there. Uh, how did you get to school? Bus. You rode a bus. Uh-huh, yeah. Do you recall? Burdine Maddox. Burdine Maddox. So now, Bert, Mr. Burdine was my bus driver later yeah. on. Yeah, he, he was a bus driver. But yeah. you, you rode on a different type of bus than what I had, I think. I was just a regular bus. Oh, I thought you rode on one that had a wooden... No, that was a cook. Bus. Oh, the cook bus. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. But did 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 you ride on the cook bus? No. Oh, you never rode on the cook bus. So you rode on a regular bus, regular like like bus. I did. Uh -huh. Do you recall who some of your teachers were? Yeah. Let me tell you something about a, a teacher that I remember, and I won't never forget. And that's Miss Barrett, fifth and sixth grade teacher. <clears throat> and when you was at, at that age, of fifth and sixth grade, if she asked you to do something, most people would say, "I can't." That's just human nature at that, at that age. When she asked you to do something and you, you say, I can't, her face, favorite saying was, are you American or are you American? And that was her favorite saying. And I will not never forget that. And I've used that saying all my life when something come up in my life that, that I needed to do something. I would tell myself, I am an American. And it helped me pick out one of my favorite verses in the Bible. And that's Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. And that's some of the things that you remember about teachers in school. And Mr. Barrett was a 7th and 8th grade teacher. And uh, he would have chapel. He was a Baptist preacher, and he would have chapel on Wednesday, Wednesday morning. And his favorite person in the Bible that he talked about more than anybody else was Samson. He really liked to talk about Samson. And his favorite song was, There's a church in the valley by the wild woods. And we would sing that every, every Wednesday morning. And that's just some of the things that I remember about Jefferson uh, School. That, that was Mr. Allen Barrett, right? Mr. Allen Barrett? Uh-huh, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I, you mentioned her. Uh, Miss Barrett, and I had her also. And I remember one day, it was about, about 10 minutes before class was supposed to end, before the bell rang. And so she was sitting up there with her pocketbook, and her pocketbook was huge. So she just emptied her pocketbook up to see what she had in it. She had everything she needed as far as her personal things, the checkbook and the makeup and all that kind of stuff. She had fishing hooks in there just in case one of her boys wanted to go fishing. I never will forget her pulling that that uh, fishing hook out of there. So, but yeah, you you remember Miss Barrett was probably one of your favorite favorite teachers. Let me tell you something about Mr. Barrett. He, he really liked animals. And he had a parrot, uh, not a parrot, but an eagle that he had sitting on a stand in our classroom. 
and his name was Henrietta. And Henrietta would get to hollering, and he'd say, Franklin Underwood, go outside and catch some grasshoppers for Henrietta, and Henrietta was hungry. <laughs> that was that was that was Mr. Barrett. They were just they were just good people. They were just good down to earth people. Now with Mr. Barrett, <clears throat> we used to deliver meals to a, a Mr. and Miss Barrett. Lived there by that little store when you turned to go to Mona. Yeah, it, out that area. In that brick house, is that? Oh, no, they lived out further. They lived about three miles out on the right hand side. That yeah. was a brother. I think. That was a brother. That was a brother. And that lady, the lady was a teacher there, Miss Ward. Miss Ward. She was a teacher him. there when, okay. and she used to be my next door neighbor before she married. Oh, really? But you mentioned Mr. Allen Barrett at, at Powell's Chapel Baptist Church, where you or your family's been going for a long that's, time. That's where I go now. Was he, was he still living and preaching when you first started going as a youngster? Do you recall? He came back. He came uh, back. He was not pre. Well, he was, but I don't remember him. I was, um, I was too young to remember. But he. Once he kind of retired, yeah. he came back, and he wasn't a preacher there, but he was a member there. Yeah. Yeah. But good people. I remember. I remember they had two boys. They might have had. No, they had a daughter too. They had uh, uh, Bonnie, uh, Barry and and and, and Bonnie Claire. Bonnie Claire. Bonnie, Bonnie Claire, Claire was a super Barton. athlete. And Barton was the one who got killed in a plane it, crash. It's true. Yeah. And, but, and Barry. But, All of them had double B's in the name. All of them was double B's. But Bonnie Claire was a star athlete at Smyrna High School. You might remember her. Uh, she played for Miss Tao, uh, Bonnie Claire Barrett. That might have been about no. She yeah, played she played the same time as, as Jean, Jean Barrett. Yeah, Jean, Jean. Uh, Toby, do you recall some of your teachers at uh, Old Jefferson? Uh, those are the only ones I can name. <laughs> I make a, I make a joke about that. Um, of all the teachers, like going to college and stuff like that, I can I can remember one out of college, but I can remember all of them back in those days. Now, uh, the one that I missed uh, at um, at uh, Jefferson was uh, Miss Short. Uh, Which one? Uh, Miss Athel. <laughs> Miss Athel or Miss Margaret? Miss <laughs> uh, uh, Athel Short. Uh, at that time, she was teaching fifth and sixth grade, and Miss Allen Barrett was first and second, and so and then Miss uh, Miss Catherine Ward. Uh, she was teaching third and fourth, and so when I was going into fifth grade, uh, Miss Athel Short and Miss Miss Allen Bear changed. So, I, uh, so I had Miss uh, uh, Miss uh, Miss Allen Barrett for first and second, and fifth and sixth, and Mister uh, 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 Mister Barrett for seventh grade, and Mister Cason for eighth. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you talk about uh, Jefferson, Old Jefferson, and Jefferson Spring, but did any black families live near or out there? There are a lot of black families now. I've got uh, I've got a record showing uh, some of the uh, like the uh, like the census reports mm -hmm. uh, back in 1920 and stuff, and and they uh, so in the area uh, in the area particularly Hickory Grove okay. uh, that that area there was was populated uh, with black people. Yeah. Having, there was a black family that lived across the street from uh, Jefferson School, Jimmy D. Mules. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy D. Yeah. Mute. Oh, okay. Jimmy D. had a lot of chickens, and the chickens would go over and get under the uh, school building, and, and they'd get to cackling, oh. and Mr. Barrett would say, say, Paul, they just laid some eggs. You get to go down there and get them and carry them over to Jimmy D.'s house. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, do you recall some of your teachers? It's not even funny, Coon. You guys had it made. Mine were all relatives. Oh. Yeah, so, <laughs> so they could tell on you. I, yeah. So I, that's why I said a minute ago, which one? So uh, Miss Athel was, I guess she was dad's cousin, I think yes. is what she was. And, uh, and then, so I had her first grade. Then when I went to second grade, I had Miss Margaret Short, which was my aunt, which by marriage, she was my dad's brother's wife. So I had her in second and third. I got rid of that aunt. And then I had to go to another aunt, which was Aunt, uh, aunt Nell Summer, which was mom's sister. Yes. So for the first four years, I couldn't do anything. <laughs> and, and I was in school with his brother, and he was always trying to get me in trouble. And, uh, but, uh, and then in the fifth and sixth grade, I had Miss Holland, and, uh, which, who just pa recently passed away. And then uh, she did uh, fifth and sixth, and seventh and eighth, Mr. Holland had seventh and eighth grade. And Mr. Holland passed away when I was, I think I was in the sixth grade when he passed away. So what they did was, instead of putting anybody else teaching into that, uh, those two classes, it was they moved them on to Smyrna. 
And so uh, the following year, which was the end of my sixth grade, was when Jefferson shut down. And, and then we moved to, uh, well, I started going to school at Thurman Francis. I think the, here's some of your relatives right here. I've got a picture of the old mill that was uh, uh, there uh, near the East Fork Recreation area, just, just on the East Fork. And, uh, and this, is, this is coming out the, the east side of the, uh, of the mill. This is not a complete shot but the, uh, the mill that was there, and, uh, and this, uh, this is Miss Miss Ethel short right here. Okay, and then I see Margaret, because Margaret was a man, uh -huh. um, and her, her maiden name was Man. I see that name up oh, there as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. So these are your so That's relatives. both of them that we were talking yeah. about. Now this is the dam. Uh, you can see in the background, see, uh, see uh, uh, so the mill was right on the, right on the East Fork, and, and you can see in the background behind there, Heads, you uh, you see the water coming over, and that's where the where you got the power for the for the mill. Uh, so this one, uh, this girl down here, that it says May Lamore Jenkins. I don't know. I I didn't ever know. So that's Miss Ethel Man Short and Margaret Man uh, Short, who were teachers uh, at Old Jefferson. Paul, do you recall who the cooks were in the in the uh, cafeteria? Toby. I can't, I can't think right now. What, was it Miss Smith? Was Ms. Smith? Miss Smith. Mm -hmm. Smith was there for yeah. a long time yeah, during Smith my was time. Uh, Miss Russell was there uh, during during my time. Okay. Uh, I remember her. Uh, Miss Smith was there when I left. Miss Smith was there for for a long, long time. But but uh, we uh, I remember also during the winter time, the government or the county would send. Uh, juice. They would send uh, 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 orange juice out to the schools, and we would have an orange juice break. I guess for for vitamins, or because we were in the rural area, I guess they figured we didn't get those type of thing. But Paul, where where did you get your school? If you had to use a bathroom, what you what you have to do to go to the bathroom? We had a toilet. The girls had one out behind the school and the boys had one out behind the school. It was an outhouse is outhouse, what we would call uh -huh, it, wasn't yeah. it? Uh-huh. Okay. Sure Did was. you have the same scenario, Toby? Yeah. Uh-huh. Mine was a little bit more modern. When I was in the seventh grade, they brought indoor plumbing to the old Jefferson school. So, Jerry, I don't guess you had to have a go there well, outdoor Well, I, I was trying to find a picture here. Uh, now, we had, we had nice indoor bathrooms, but I was over there walking about three months ago and I was carrying my son through there because the, uh, the, the school is actually, if you looked at my dad's property and, and where we're at now, it was a rectangle farm. And in the very corner of that rectangle was where the school was. So it was actually, we, we were on two sides of the school our property was. And so I was carrying my son through there because, uh, just to kind of show him around here about three or four months ago. And I came up on this piece of concrete that had three holes in it. And I looked at him and I said, do you know what that is? And he said, no. I said, well, that's an outhouse uh, toilet. That's, and they, that's where the concrete, so it's still back there, Paul. If you ever want to go see it, it's still there right now uh, where that outhouse was. Also, uh, what did you hit, use for heat? You recall what you used for heat at school? They had uh, warm morning heaters. Wood warm, warm one and heaters, uh -huh, and coal, and they had a coal house. They had a coal house. Uh -huh, sure mm -hmm. did, yeah. Had a coal house. Same with you, I guess, Toby? Yeah. The um, coal, you had to go out and get uh, the coal and bring it in? I think I said, I think I said a minute or two ago that the, uh, that, the, uh, that the wooden school burned in 19, it, uh, I think it was 1930. Uh, I remember there was a time that, uh, say, in the, uh, say, in the auditorium, uh, at the brick school that we went to there, Jefferson, uh, there was a there was a big there was a huge uh, there was a huge heater, and one time uh, you know you cleaned out and there was an opening somehow underneath it, and somehow some papers got uh, fell through and they they were on fire underneath the school, and so <laughs> so um, but we got under there and and, um, and put those things there was. Um, there was sorry we used to be able to crawl underneath uh, 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 the Jefferson School, and so uh, there was a stage, and uh, uh, this was the new uh, new brick school. There was a stage where there was a 
uh, if you went in from the underneath the house, you could crawl up and there was a panel, a little space where you, where you could go in that little dark space. And so, uh, but, uh, but uh, so uh, there were occasions that I would, uh, I would uh, ask the teacher if I could, I could be excused to, to go out to the outhouse. And so, uh, so I'd run out the door and then, and then run and, and go to one of the little side, these little holes about this big, and I could crawl through those and then crawl all the way back and back to, and get underneath the room where my, <laughs> where my class was still conducting class. And then I would, uh, I would listen for immunity and come, and then I'd come back out, and uh, and then I'd talk to uh, talk to the students that I had there and tell them tell them what they I, I said I can read your mind I can tell you what you were talking about why, <laughs> but I can hear real plainly uh, I say underneath the house uh, you know underneath the <laughs> but here's uh, here's uh, here is uh, my grad uh, this is my class this is forty seven and eight and this is um, this is the third and fourth grade in um, in Miss uh, Miss Catherine Ward's class, and I'm uh, uh, you can you can barely see. I'm the one that's right there. I'm right there. You can just see the top of my head right there. But this is my class. I've got all the names back back there. And and Paul, let's see. Here's uh, well, so you wouldn't be in this one uh, because uh, you would be in the of the next next class. So this would be. But that, uh, me when I was in the fourth grade. That's a lot of students compared to when I was there. Because when I was there, it would probably be 10, 10 or maybe 12 at the most in each grade. Yeah. Now, we had uh, we would have first and second together, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. But you look like you got probably 25 or 30 uh, or maybe more than that there. Uh-huh. You got quite a few. Uh, Patrick, you was fixing to ask something. What was the school year? When did you start? Did you... After Labor Day, or yes, uh, we started after Labor Day, didn't we? Probably September. We started in September. I don't know about. It might have been later, earlier for you, it, Jerry. I think it's around September. You, yeah. you uh-huh. didn't get any week off at uh, Thanksgiving, and, fall. and you didn't get no. fall. No. <laughs> Thanksgiving, we would get off on Thursday and Friday, I assume. Christmas, probably. We, we, we might have had a week at Christmas. I don't know if I got. Yeah, I think we probably did have between Christmas and, and New Year's. Uh huh. Yeah. But then school was out yeah. in May, end of May. Yes. Here's just a few pictures. This one, uh, this one here, it, uh, 1911-12. That was uh, that was from the wooden school. Uh, it, it was built just, just, uh, just uh, slightly to the north of where the brick school came later, and that's Jefferson. I've just got a, I've just got a few of these here. Now those that are named on on this one, Glendon Johns, uh, Mr. Uh, Harry Arnold, Ethel Mann Short, Margaret Mann, uh, Ruby Waller, and uh, Evelyn Waller. Those are the only ones I had named on that one. Here's a picture. It didn't, uh, I can't find any power lines coming to this early picture of the Jefferson School, the Brick School. It's a beautiful school. Also during that time, we didn't have any playground. Our playground was just outside dirt. And of course, if it was raining, you stayed inside and the teacher would bring out uh, games to play and those kind of uh, things. But uh, of course, today, everybody has a gym and, 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 and all that kind of stuff. We did have some swings. Yeah, we did have some swings. Yeah. That's right. I remember the swings yeah. Uh-huh. there. Yeah. Uh, then, Paul, you left old Jefferson and you had to go to the big school at Smyrna, which is Rock School. Rock School, where the Smyrna Library is today, the library in the little park. Was it a big change for you to go from Old Jefferson to, to Smyrna? Yes, it was, yeah. Yes, it was. Uh, about how many was in your class then? I, I don't know how many was in the class uh, when we started, but when we graduated in uh, 19... Uh, 55, there was 37 people in the class. 37 people graduated uh-huh. with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Then uh, did you have any trouble keeping up with your grade, with your uh, subjects and all that? No, none yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. None whatsoever. Toby, did, how many was in your graduating class, you recall? Which it was, was just actually, a year later. It was, uh, it was 39, but we had several others who had been in the armed services who were, who, who were included. We were having our 66 
class reunion next month. Next month, uh -huh. 66 years. 66 years. About how many will show up that was in your We've family? lost about half. About half, uh -huh. which is pretty good. Yeah. Which uh -huh. is pretty good. Who were some of them that graduated with you that we would know? Uh, Annette and Jeanette Gwynn. Uh, Malcolm Francis. Yep, my, my brother. His brother. We started out in the first grade together. Johnny and his wife. Uh, your wife. My your wife. Family. Yeah. Uh, Dot Steele, uh, she graduated. Uh, Elizabeth Mitchell. Uh, so there's a bunch, yeah. There's a bunch, yeah. Uh -huh. Bobby Duke from, from Old Jefferson. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Paul, did you guys go to school with quite a few from the base as well? Quite a few, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh, yeah. I know we... Um, when, when I was in the eighth grade, you know, the base closed at that time, and I basically lost half of my friends in one summer. Yeah. You know, you, you, I mean, you were running around with these, these kids and, and all, and, and, and three months later they were gone. Now, I came along six years later after Toby graduated in 56. Uh, I, I graduated in 1962. Now, I want you to remember that Old Jefferson was not the only school that came to Smyrna High School because you had them from Ambleville, you had them from Rocky Fork, uh, Seminary, uh, what other schools? If, I don't Laverne. know. What, Laverne. Laverne came in there then. Yep. So you had this group that came in there and, made, and then made the classes a little bit larger. But our class in 1962 was the first class to have 100 students mm -hmm. in our class. 94 out of the 100 graduated. But I remember I was, was the first one that had that had a hundred in there. We had some people from Nolansville in you our class. You had some from Nolansville mm -hmm. back then? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then quite a few years later, Jerry graduated from high school. What year did you graduate, Jerry? 73. 73. We had right at 170. 170. Mm -hmm. uh, was Laverne High School there then? No. 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 Still um, smarter. Still smarter. In fact, your daughter, I think, was the first year that there was Smyrna and Laverne. You're right, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah they tell been. you all about yep, that, yep. thanks to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back during that time, uh, Patsy, Patsy was, uh, she was already really involved in the community, but she wanted to be on the school board. So she was on the school board uh, representing the north end of Rutherford County. Was that twin Smyrna and Laverne split? Yes. Uh, yes. And Laverne High School was mm -hmm. built. What year was that, you recall? 80, let's see, 89. Uh, 1989. So wait, that, wait a minute, is that right? That'd be close. Yeah, yeah. So, Shari and, and Mary Esther. Esther. yeah. But that, that was a big change. That was a, a big change there. Can you recall some of the functions at Old Jefferson that, you, that the families, I mean, that the, your PTA, your parents did to raise funds for the school? I remember we had cakewalks, we had spaghetti suppers. Yeah. Uh, I remember they had a womanist wedding one time. Daddy was the bride. Oh, mercy. Johnny Ross was the baby. And supposedly Daddy had already had the baby, and he was going to push the baby up to the altar. And he, they used a wheelbarrow to push him up there because Johnny was so big he couldn't get, get in a buggy. So I remember those days, and we'd have those cake walks outside. Your uh, uncle Wilson Francis was one of the best uh, uh, cake walkers and dancers that we had <laughs> had around <laughs> Old Jefferson. Yeah. Uh, they really loved that. Loved and uh, that. they brought in a they brought in a, a band one uh, one night to to the school at Old Jefferson School. And the man that drove the car in didn't have any arms. He drove by his feet. And you know what he did when he got there? And, and when he was a musician, he played the guitar with his toes. Huh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I remember that. I don't ever forget that. Yeah. 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 Well. One, one thing, Coomey, I don't know that we say anything about it, was King's Grocery. Yes. Uh, you know, it was just down, well, it was just almost across the street from us, just a little ways up. But uh, that was the only grocery that was pretty much there, there in at the, the end, time. Uh, yes. when the when the lake came, uh, it was Roy King who had it. Now, I'm not sure how long Roy. And Bud owned Walter it. Uh, had it five years before uh, okay. Roy took it over. Okay, and uh, that's where we got our groceries. Of course, you could 
we could walk up there and get them, but what Roy would let us do, if, if I needed something to drink or something, if I wanted a Coke or a candy bar, I, I'd walk up and down the road and find Coke bottles and, and then take them up there and turn them in, get, get three cents and, and get me something to eat. But, uh, also back then, Roy and the other grocery people, they would have tabs. They would have these little charge things where you could charge and then the parents would come by at the end of the week or the month and pay for those things. A lot of time, farmers in the community, they would have to wait two or three months until the crops came in and, and, to, and to make those payments. But that's the way you did back then. And a lot of things back then you, you did by handshake. And, and you didn't have to have anything in writing and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so times have changed. And that, to be honest, is for the best. I guess it's for the best because we've grown so much. Uh, I can recall we were talking about uh, Paul being on the, on the council. Uh, I remember when we first got on, it was something like 7,500 people was, was here in Smyrna. And today we're over, over 50,000, so that's, that's how, we've, how we've grown. Uh, anything else, Paul, that you want to bring up about old Jefferson that we didn't, didn't discuss that you think? There's something we used to do that... Uh, uh, I don't know that the young people would ever done or ever ever knew anything about it. Uh, you remember it, Richard, playing Annie over? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, throwing the ball over the over school. Over the school, yes. And then you catch it, run around, and throw it at somebody else on the other side. I remember that. That was that was a, a probably one of the best games we ever had down there. Ring around the roses. Yeah. Uh -huh. Kick the can. Kick the can. <laughs> yeah. 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 We had this. Uh, we had this thing. I remember uh, we we would uh, we play a game where um, we'd have uh, everybody would get would line up on one side next to the fence row or over over next to the property on the east side, and then the uh, the driveway into the school would be the other side, and then out in out in the middle you'd uh, you'd have five or six uh, people who would catch, and the idea was just when people would come across uh, you'd tackle them. Uh, You'd tackle them, and, and they had to stay in the middle. And, and uh, I was telling somebody just the other day, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the person I remember that at that time, uh, I'd say it was Herschel Patterson. Oh, yeah. he, he, was, he was older than I. Yeah. But uh, it, would take, it would take dozens of them to get him on the ground. <laughs> was a, he was a strong country guy. He wasn't much guy. bigger than the rest of them. No, he was small, yeah. yeah he was short, yeah. yeah. Now I tell you this one, uh, Bill Swain. Uh, I met Bill Swain. Uh, he's passed away now, but he was in my grade at school, and uh, and so uh, I met him at Jerusalem Church one day, and he he ran up to me. Uh, he he ran up to I was coming out to the church, and he ran up to me and grabbed me by the shoulders like this, and and looked at my face like this, and he, he was looking at my face. Uh, 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 we had started this game where we'd go, uh, go over there in the field and there's, there's horse weeds and stuff and you'd pull them out of the ground and on the end there'd be a spear and then we'd bring our spears back over on the school ground and they would line up and we'd have the, the battle of the, you know, the Romans and the, you know, whoever. Uh, <laughs> Spartans and the Romans. So, uh, so uh, Bill had thrown a spear and, and it hit me, it hit me right here. So... <laughs> So uh, he they was had checking the, that mark, wasn't he? Huh? He yeah, was checking that mark on he your was face. Checking that mark right there. Yeah. <laughs> he, it, I can still feel it right there, but but he was looking me in the face. With they had to take me to the to doctor's ship, I guess, but back then, uh, you know, to sew it up. But <laughs> there was another one called Red 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 Rover. Red Rover, Red Rover. Yeah, let Patsy come over. Uh, another thing that I remember that you mentioned that uh, throwing the ball over. Uh, we'd get wild onions, and you get a hole. It would be a hole in the ground, and you try to pull that bug up out of that ground. Yeah, and yeah whoever could get yeah. the most bugs out would win that recess. Yeah, we thing. called it camel hunting. Camel hunting, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or yeah. camel fishing, I think. Yeah, it I don't know. I guess they'd grab that thing and put, you'd uh -huh. pull them right out. Yeah, yeah. I remember doing that. <laughs> the uh, yeah. coon. One of the things that you were asking if it was anything else. I think one of the things that that kind of stuck out to me, and actually, I was even thinking about it coming over here today was I took the back old Jefferson Road, which was next to the property that, that, the, lake, that the lake took uh, from us. And a lot of people won't realize that, I mean, I looked over there and, and all you could see, and I even told my son this a couple of months ago, I said, this property here, which you can't, it's, it's so dense now that you couldn't see from here to, to that wall there because of all the trees. That property was cornfields. 
You know, I mean, it was it was beautiful farmland that was back there then, and uh, which is which is gone. I know we talked about my my grandfather's place and over where you guys lived at. That was farmland that that they took for the lake, and the lake is great and it's really helped us here, but. It didn't get used for the lake and actually was leased back to other people to go back and farm. You know, so it's still at, it's still kind of being used for, for farmland, but some of it was, you know, was taken away and then from them and then used later on for somebody else to come in and farm. Mm -hmm. People used to talk about uh, back in the early days uh, having to walk so far to get to school. You know, people just said, I used to walk, you know, five miles to school. Um, one day uphill back both at, ways, huh? too, uphill both ways too. <laughs> uphill <laughs> both ways. Uh, we lived down at the end of the road, all the way down at the uh, north end of that. And um, so one day we got up and it had, had snowed, and and the river had uh, had risen some, and the uh, the Stones River ran right uh, right beside the road where the water pumping station. If you're standing on Jefferson Pike and you're looking downstream. You see the water station, the, the road was on there, and then the river was right next to it. And so I got, uh, so I had to walk, uh, normally we'd have to go six tenths of a mile to get to where it'd catch the school bus. So I got up one morning when I was in high school, and, 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 and I walked, uh, I walked to, the, uh, to the mailbox, and so um, uh, I didn't see any tracks where any, any bus had been there, so I walked, um, I walked on and uh, and went on uh, went on to the south and walked around the around the pumping station and and there was a turn in spot where where if the bus came and if the river was up in the road uh, uh, that's where he turned around and I could tell there was a fine set of tracks there and so the I could tell the bus had already come and gone so I kept on walking and uh, walked out the end of uh, Sharp Spring Road and. Um, uh, I made the turn on Jefferson Pike and went through Gillsville and by the Pine Thicket, and uh, never, n no one ever picked me up. And, and I walked, uh, I walked five miles. <laughs> I did walk five miles, uh, uh, one way to school that day. Uh, and when I got there, school was in session, uh, even though we had snow on the ground and everything. I finally made it about uh, about eleven o'clock, and sometimes I would. I would jog a little bit, and then I'd I'd, I'd walk and back. So I walked. I, I did walk uh, one time uh, five miles, and I rode the bus home. Uh, that I rode the because I caught the bus back. You met. Uh, go, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Patsy. Do you still lead the um, trips through Jefferson and all? Through the uh, yeah, uh, I still do whenever there's a a need for one. Just like if the uh, the first one I did. Um, uh, all the time I was back here teaching everything for all those years, I taught 37 and a half years, and so uh, it seemed like I stayed so busy that I didn't have, have the chance to think much about, uh, about old Jefferson. So after I retired in 99, uh, about in the early, uh, early part of 2000, I, I, I decided, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over to the East Fork Recreation and, uh, and hike in. So, so all, these year, all of these had elapsed between the 60s all the way to, to 2000 and Two or something, and so uh, so I started. I just went and and I had to, it was to such I had to go up at top of the hill uh, of where uh, John Nash Reed's uh, mansion was, and I just went straight west and just went straight across those fields. And some of the fields were being worked, uh, uh, you know, leased out by the government. And so after I, after I kept walking, I didn't know exactly where I was, but uh, uh, but uh, and I started here in a car. Uh, car sounds and trucks or something, and I was I was all the way on the other side to West Fork uh, boat dock over there, and the, and the car was over there. So I, um, and then after I got there, I went went back around, uh, 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 back uh, back down the river, and then I got back to where uh, when I went by the Peyton Smith house, and 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 I began to see some asphalt there, and I I I knew when I'd gotten. To, to the hill where Jefferson Jefferson store and every, everything was. So after that, in in 2003, to answer your question, I, I've got a picture here, and I started put, putting out some advertisement. I, I started, uh, and and I uh, on a Saturday we met on uh, October the 25th, uh, 2003, 200 years after Jeff the, the very to the very day Jefferson wow. was founded back in 18. Uh, 
I had 70 people that showed up wow. uh, from my first walk. And that was the October. The hike and I gave the history, and, and we hiked into Old Jefferson, and it, you know, it would take, because sometimes it would take three hours, sometimes four hours, depend on, uh, we'd come to have conversation and stuff like that. But the, but the thing was, for all those years, and they still write that Jefferson was flooded, you know, but I walked that whole distance and that first trip I made, and my, my, my tennis shoes never got wet. Did you say October the 5th, what? 2000? It was October the 25th, oh, 25th. of uh, 2003. Uh, 2003. And I'd like to do that, but I'm not sure I could hold out. <laughs> well, you can How go uh, when it's a little cooler or something and, uh, and take your time. Uh, the, uh, some of the last trips, I've got, uh, there was a, there was a, a group of people, a uh, small group, of, some of them came from Texas and they had descended from ancestor here and uh, and and all of them were, I mean, <laughs> you might say my age. So I did have to sit down and uh, wait on a few of them. They got, I mean, we kind of got too hot. Well, now was that when the the Nash uh, went about that cemetery? Was that some of the folks that came? The uh, yeah, Amer we, uh, Revolutionary uh, War uh, hero. Yeah, we were involved in that about the Nash cemetery. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Now, you mentioned a while ago about walking the day that you walked to school and then nobody stopped. But I can recall back in our days, if you saw somebody walking, you'd stop and you'd pick them up and you'd take them most of the time to wherever they wanted to go. But times have changed where you won't pick up, you'd stop and help somebody with a flat tire or a broken down vehicle, but we don't do that today. We don't, so times have changed. Billy and myself, uh, we made signs and uh, Billy gave me a sign that I had made back in college uh, when I was going to UT, and I've still got the sign. They uh, they had it stored in your uh, in one of your sheds, and he gave me the sign. And uh, of all the times that I went back and forth to school in Knoxville uh, in those first couple of years, uh, we would hitchhike. And there was only one time I paid for a bus. Now he's talking about from time. Smyrna, Tennessee, yeah. wow. from Smyrna, Bank. Tennessee to Knoxville, and they would have this sign. It'd say. Smyrna, Tennessee, on, or Murfreesboro, I forgot yeah. which one it said, Murfreesboro, Smyrna. on one side, and then on the other one would say Knoxville, Tennessee, and they would have their school bus, or, we didn't have backpacks then, I don't know what you, you had a suitcase probably, yeah. and, and people would pick you up and, and take you, the, and yeah, it wasn't we no interstate. Out, uh, we could go down uh, 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 right in front of the college there at UT and, and just uh, hang our suitcase and there'd be a traveling salesman come through and wanting, wanting company and he'd buy us lunch in Crossville. <laughs> different day. Different, different day. day. Yeah, different day is right. Miss Thee, you have anything that you... I learned a lot. You learned a lot? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, Patsy? No, I think this has been really, really good. Yeah, I was so. glad to, to know more about Jefferson and old Jefferson. And yeah. <laughs> Jefferson Springs. Jefferson yeah. Springs, Sulphur yeah. Springs. That's, yeah. that's been very, very interesting. Thank y'all for coming. But Jerry, Tobe, uh, Jerry and Toby and Paul, we appreciate, we appreciate you coming yes, today. Really Enjoyed it. Yes. Enjoyed it. Thank you for inviting us. Okay. Let me end it with a good joke, one that you can tell in church. It's just clean. A man and wife had been married for 60 years. They're sitting out on their front porch rocking. And she looked at him and said, I remember when you used to hold my hand. He bent over and held her hand. She said, I remember when you used to kiss me on my cheek. He bent over and kissed her on her cheek. She said, I remember when you used to nibble on my ear. He gets up out of his chair, and she said, where are you going? He said, I'm going to get my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so see, I told you you could tell that one in church. <laughs>